I thank you for joining me. I'm going to be reading the Earth Class Notes, written by the Twelfth Apostle, entitled The Heavenly Holding Place, Part 1. Before the fall of Adam, was there a paradise in the center of the Earth? No. What about a heavenly holding place that non-believing individuals resided within? No. We understand that Adam and Eve's first son, Cain, was, in all likelihood, the first resident of this seldom understood location. This location, like paradise, functioned within spirit, matter, and time. Therefore, no pain could possibly be experienced. Two thousand years ago, paradise was emptied. Emptied when Jesus entered therein. After he left his dead physical body hanging upon the cross, where he had just proved his father's justice, becoming the final sacrifice for the consequences of all sin, evil, and death. Since that most epic of all times, what has been the purpose of the heavenly holding place? It obviously was not to punish individuals, for Jesus paid for the consequences of their sins, just as he did for you and I. Looking at the big picture, we now see uh, that it has been God's intention all along for his witnesses to make this truth understandable to all. To all who rejected his love during their life here. Hence, the souls within the heavenly holding place and the fallen angels would still have the opportunity to learn these truths while it means the most to do so. So we now see it was not God's intention for the non-believing individuals to be held therein by holy angels till the time of his return. Obviously, God's plan for these souls has always been unconditionally progressive. Regardless of whether they accepted God's free gift of forgiveness or not, join me for part two of The Heavenly Holding Place. Until next time.